So today we have a relatively rare porch video. I don't make these very often, but oof, just happens to be that kind of a day. Um, yesterday, you know, we were discussing something that I think is an interesting topic. And I, I, something, frankly, I don't think interests necessarily uh, everybody who watches this channel. But this idea that, like, you know, Neville often says, like, if you feel perfection, if you embody perfection, then your world becomes perfect. Um, and you could obviously say that he meant that metaphorically, but it certainly seems like he meant that literally at times. Um, and I was talking about uh, his essay, The Search, from the, the 1940s, where he kind of just talks about his visions and, you know, how perfection naturally materializes and it's just interesting and you know I was thinking about it a little bit more um, so many of these new thought people certainly not just Neville um, I mean you can easily say most of these new thought people they just use there's so much false equivalence you know there's so much of these um, jumping to these conclusions making these grandiose statements you know that um, they are so sure of and they personally might be sure of but <laughs> most people would say just sound fucking crazy and you know as I was talking about yesterday the people that I've met in my life who um, seem to be the most enlightened or you could say spiritually in tune um, and I've been fortunate to you know to meet a, a few people like that and quite a few others who seem very <laughs> present I guess one would say um they don't talk about these external manifestations occurring in such a way in the way that these new thought law of attraction uh, teachers do. The, it's not to say there's no connection and it's not to say that your life won't improve because it very well might improve if you become quote unquote enlightened or more spiritually in tune. That seems to just make almost just total rational sense in, in that you are more present more in the moment and so your life becomes healthier right but with new thought with neville we jump to these huge conclusions and people just buy into it and um that's fine if it works for you uh but if you are are, are having trouble swallowing some of these ideas maybe you just don't have to look at it in such just you know I don't like dogmatic way you know for instance I've got a couple books out here you know Neville Neville like to say like there is no reality in the world other than your consciousness like is that true really and it's okay if you think it is you know and if you're a huge fan of Neville's and you know you know, bought the pearl a great price, you're going to say that. Sure, and I get that. And if you believe that, that's terrific. But there's no reality in the world other than your consciousness. In my opinion, that's a, that's a perspective. It's not necessarily true in the way that he meant. Um, likewise, I'm going to read that this famous line. I actually just saw... On my YouTube, Joseph Rodriguez just made a new video about um, Neville, and he quoted this line from Out of This World, which is very famous, or this paragraph, the beginning of Out of This World, which is a Neville book from, the, again, the late 40s. You know, Neville writes, Many persons, myself included, have observed events before they occurred. That is, before they occurred in this world of three dimensions. Since man can observe an event before it occurs in the three dimensions of space, life on earth must proceed according to plan. And this plan must exist elsewhere in another dimension and be slowly moving through our space. Now, people love that paragraph. And Neville, might, Neville certainly seems to be onto something there. But to, jo draw, you know, to draw the conclusions he made... Um, <laughs> life on earth 
must proceed according to plan. And this plan must exist elsewhere in another dimension and be slowly moving through our space. Ooh, I mean, pretty theory. Pretty theory. But um, if that theory doesn't help you, if his opinion doesn't help you, if you think that maybe he was just spouting off stuff and using false equivalence, false equivalence and saying this is going to happen because this, drawing these wild conclusions, and that there's nothing necessarily overly spiritual, enlightened about what he's saying, as so often is the case with these new thought teachers. And that they're giving us more helpful, practical advice than they are giving us this deep spiritual truth advice. Um, you might find that perspective more valuable than just buying that, you know, there's all these options and you choose your option and da da da. Sounds good on paper. I relate more to this quote that I've, I've read a couple times on this channel. Um, I included it in Simple Self-Healing, the book I did on, you know, Emile Coué's work. Cyrus Harry Brooks, who was, you know, tight with Coué and wrote about Coué brilliantly, he said, um, he said this, this, this resonates with me a lot more than anything Neville just said. This is what Cyrus Harry Brooks said, you know, in regards to Coué's philosophy and approach. He said, here we catch a glimpse of the truth behind what's called luck. We're told that everything comes to him who waits. And this is literally true, provided he waits in the right frame of mind. Some people are notoriously lucky in business. Whatever they touch seems to turn to gold. The secret of their success lies in the fact that they confidently expect to succeed. There's no need to go so far as the school of new thought and claim that suggestion can set in motion transcendental laws outside man's own nature. It's quite clear that the man who expects success, whatever kind it may be, will subconsciously take up the right attitude to achieve it in his environment. He'll involuntarily secede, even if only fleeting opportunities are presented to him, and by his inner fitness, naturally command the circumstances around him. I buy what Brooks said. I find that a much easier pill to swallow than there's no reality in the world other than your own consciousness. Or, uh, many persons, myself included, have observed events before they occurred, that is, before they occurred in this world of three dimensions. Since man can observe an event before it occurs in the three dimensions of space, life on Earth must proceed according to plan. And this plan must exist elsewhere in another dimension and be slowly moving through our space. Just use what works for you. But personally, I'm really sick of all this high flutin theory and people not getting results from it. Some people get results and if you believe it, if you believe it, if you believe you're going to secede, if you believe it works, like Brooks just said in that brilliant passage, it's going to work. But uh, there's a lot of crazy theory out there. I'm going to link to this Joseph Murphy podcast episode I did, you know, just talking a little bit about blind faith blind faith because that's what we see very often and I think it's in a way for a lot of us is harder to just believe in ourselves and that to believe you know um, in like what Brooks said that that if you believe if you're in the right frame of mind you're going to get what you want and that it's up to you to do that in a way I feel like that's harder and it's it's more practical and if I'm looking for a better explanation of how it works, 
I, I don't know. I have yet to come up, come to find one. The, all, these spiritual sounding, you know, very metaphysical explanations I read, I just don't buy them. They don't actually seem spiritual to me. They just seem like these wild theories, which is cool. Um, but as Kuei says, let's try to simplify and not complicate. And the theory often complicates instead of simplifies. Hope this was helpful. Oh, I also want to mention before I log off here, um, I'm going to be offering a group coaching session to help simplify things hopefully for you. Um, group coaching session Tuesday, May 9th at 6 p.m. Eastern. 6 p.m. Eastern, Tuesday, May 9th. If you would like to join us for this intimate group coaching session, you can email me at info at radicalcounselor.com or contact me at radicalcounselor.com. You can also contact me there uh, for one-on-one -on -one coaching where we go even deeper and simplify even more. Until next time, enjoy. <laughs>